Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Ginger Arboleda. And I'm EJ. And we are content creators and business owners who love sharing our experiences on personal finance, investments, business, and parenthood. So today we're going to talk to the founder of Medify. Medify is a teleconsultation app that you can use, you can sign up for free, and you can book a teleconsult with a physician through the app. So if you like this video, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and click that notification bell for more videos like this. And now let's bring in the founder, Mr. Jay Fajardo. Hi, Jay. It's nice to have you here in our channel. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, so let's jump into it. No? So maybe can you tell us more about like the history of Medify, how you started it, and what was the problem that you were trying to solve? Okay, um, uh, we started around 2014, or that's when we started conceptualizing the idea of a, uh, a way for patients to communicate with their doctors remotely. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was actually born of a very specific problem that my partner um, uh, encountered at that time. At that time, he was still playing professional soccer here in the Philippines mm -hmm. with Adelanto mm -hmm. Sparks. And uh, his name is Freddy Gonzalez, by the way. Mm -hmm. And um, he uh, actually had an MCL injury. Mm -hmm. And um, his doctor was um, located in the United States. So as you might imagine, it's so difficult to, to have to uh, book a flight every now and then to, to go to the States to have a, have a consultation, to treat the injury, etc. Mm -hmm. um, that was the, the, the base problem that, that, uh, that he experienced. And he said, wouldn't it be great if I could actually do the, the, the simple consultations, the one that does not require um, me showing up in the clinic over mm -hmm. the internet, over yeah, a right. video call or, a, or an audio call. So that's where it all started. And um, with that, um, he actually reached out to me. Mm -hmm. and asked um, if uh, we could build it together and we did so nice so since then jay no parang there's there i think you were very early on the scene um so i'm sure the pandemic was probably a boon for you guys was it uh-huh it, it was um in fact just to give you an idea and for the benefit of our audience <laughs> um early ideas obviously are, are typically a hard sell for the for the mm. mainstream market now so um new new ways of doing things and um it was very uh, particularly difficult to um, conscript the doctors to join mm -hmm. uh, Medify. um only because we and we discovered this um uh, down the road mm -hmm. um doctors are always worried about any kind of additional factors um that you introduce into the practice Mm -hmm. They're very okay. risk averse, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't want to, to you know, what what's not fixed or what's not broken shouldn't be fixed. Right. That's yeah. the mentality. Mm -hmm. um, and you'd agree with them because it's a very sensitive field. You know, there's uh, mm -hmm. this medical treatment, uh, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of um, um, consequences when you make an error. So mm -hmm. that's the mindset of the doctors. Um, that totally changed when the pandemic hit. Right. Um, in fact, it changed so drastically that they were the ones that started reaching out to me. Nice. And asking if um, they could already uh, get on the platform mm -hmm. and continue their their medical practice on 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 Medify. On Medify. And that uh, yeah, that was like what five years after. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we started around 2014, 2015. Yeah. And then uh, 2020, so that's mm -hmm. about five years. Mm -hmm. So um, it took that black swan event right. to make it uh, relevant or to push people, push adoption. Um, the funny thing was um, mm -hmm. the driving force or the motivation for these uh, doctors was um, economic motivation. Mm -hmm. It's it's really it hit them where it hurt because uh, right. you know they they they, uh, <laughs> they couldn't continue their practice. There was social distancing. They couldn't see their patients. So um, their, their 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 livelihood was threatened. Mm -hmm. um, secondary, of course, is safety. 
So, right. so you know, if you, mm-hmm. if you, don't, you don't have to see each other, that's not. Yeah. So yeah. Those are, those, those are the ones. Oh, that's so great. that was the that was the experience, Mm-mm. and it was a dramatic experience indeed. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned Jay, you know, that there are like uh, at first they were sort of like very particular because it's it's medicine that we're talking about, no. So, um, are there specific uh, expertise as um, the but doctors would normally have their own like expertise that couldn't be done like via teleconsult and 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 another thing like you mentioned that obviously like your your base already grew this pandemic like. What did they realize after going through that, the pandemic? Um, the doctors? Yes, um, yes, yeah. Okay. So the doctors realized um, that um, they could actually multiply the, 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 what's this? the velocity of their consultations, meaning mm-hmm. they, they could treat more patients in, in a short span of time. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the drivers for that was how we designed Medify. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things we learned, by the way, in the early days was that uh, telehealth is actually a very asynchronous, um, mm-hmm. uh, it's asynchronous by nature. Mm-hmm. Um, about, especially uh, about 80% is mm-hmm. asynchronous. And uh, that led us to, to start pivoting towards a chat first experience for, oh, for users. Oh, okay. And when we did that, so mm-hmm. that's the first contact, okay? Um, doctors already uh, quickly discovered that they could feel multiple consultations at one time. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you do a traditional telehealth consultation, yeah. it's yeah. one-to-one. Oh, yes. So you're, you're, you, you occupy that doctor's attention uh, mm-hmm. 100% one-to-one. Right. But the, when, we, when we did the, the pivot, the doctors were able to feel five, 10 consultations at one time. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, they did not have to go, jump onto a call. Right. So the oh. patient would show a photo or send right. lab, re- lab tests, lab results, or whatever. And uh, we, we saw consultations happen like uh, um, very quickly, about 12 minutes of staying consultation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then the doctor is able to uh, issue a prescription, medical certificate, lab request, etc. So mm-hmm. that is one of the, that's that's a change, uh, yeah. and, uh, a real paradigm shift in, in, uh, in, uh, in treatment. Now you ask Ginger, you ask me uh, what uh, what specialties are yeah. uh, are um, uh, can't be done over telehealth. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to realize we are not a replacement. Mm-hmm. For some mm-hmm. specialties, yes, maybe mm-hmm. they're ready to the end to end uh, consultation on just online. Uh, mga G- mga GP, mga general mm-hmm. practice. Yeah. Pero a lot of specialties use telehealth as a way to augment the interaction and to make it more efficient. So, mm-hmm. um, sabi natin, um, if you, you have a sprain or it's ortho or you, mm-hmm. that means you really have to go there and they have to, mm-hmm. they have yes, to so. look at it. That's fine. Um, and then the treatment itself, um, if you need to go to an operation, obviously that's, it can't be done over the, over telehealth yet. Um, um, the telehealth, serves us the uh, follow-on consultation, mm-hmm. uh, the secondary visit, etc. Um, so you don't have to get in a car, uh, yeah. go to traffic, um, risk uh, booking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's another story because, because you know how, how it is. You book an appointment, suddenly the doctor's not showing up. Yeah. And, and you know, that's typical. That's so typical. Mm-hmm. Um, you, take, you, you eliminate all of that. That's that, the, is, yeah. that is the... Uh-oh. That's the advantage of that. It's it's very interesting that 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 pivot and that response to that discovered user behavior. No, so so that's a good story, Jay. Um, one question I I have is, uh, like what what's the advantage of using Medify? Like if I'm a doctor, um, or if I'm a if I'm a doctor, maybe. Uh, what's the advantage of using Medify versus, let's say, because right now, like everybody has Viber, they can do mm-hmm. their calls over Viber. Like, what what right. is your response? I'm sure you get that question a lot. So, how do you respond to that? Oh yeah, well, actually, it's actually it it um it specifically addresses a pain point that the doctors experience with the traditional way they they do teleconsultation. Mm-hmm. Um, since it's a platform, mm-hmm. there's already a built-in mechanism for um for getting paid 
Mm. Right? Right. That is a pain point. Better. So, uh, so uh, it's automatic. The patient books, um, consultation, the, his uh, payment details are already um, uh, taken from, mm-hmm. from, uh, by Medify to assure the doctor that he gets paid at the end of the consultation. Because you'll be surprised. Patients mm-hmm. have tried to ghost, ghost doctors. Oh. And we've really put in all sorts of mechanisms to make sure mm-hmm. that even if the patient uh, disappears for some mm-hmm. reason, yeah. there's an automatic charging at the end after a certain period of time. Yeah. Right. So, so to make sure that the consultation happens, um, oh. ends or concludes. Right. Um, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, for the patient and the doctor, um, uh, the, the, when the doctor says, um, shall we conclude this consultation, the patient has to concur. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Got it. Uh, um, you want to end this already? The patient, no, but I, I, I'm, I'm not satisfied. So let's mm-hmm. continue or whatever. So that, that, can, that, that, that can happen. But, but that you only give them a certain amount of time. Um, I think we only have about five days before it automatically concludes. And the okay. charge goes. Oh, oh. oh, that's super interesting, Jay. Because no? like in a, in a face-to-face setting, in a clinic, the doctors have their secretary who handle that dirty work. Of like asking, uh-huh. and you know, right. if sila yung yeah. text mo, they will say, ah, sige, buka, buka ng consultation, and then syempre may bayad yun. But this time, it's the platform that does it for you. So even though you That's don't right. have that, yeah. the the whole interface makes sure that that happens. No? So that's there's an advantage talaga for doctors. That's very interesting. Right, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and my next question, Jay, is probably like, what's in store now that everything is getting back to normal? No? Mm. What's in store for the users and the doctors? Um, the Nothing changes. Uh, the platform mm-hmm. remains, the mm-hmm. benefits, the features. Um, it's now um, uh, trying to make sure that the, uh, the what they experience, the benefits that they experience over during the pandemic, during the quality, mm-hmm. Um, gets translated into a, a benefit that they will look for even mm-hmm. after. Um, we, although um, we have seen the, the usage and the traction taper off mm-hmm. uh, following the ebbs and flows of the, of the surges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, um, we've seen that. Um, again, I mean, us, we're, we're, we're all startup founders here. We also mm-hmm. have this assumption of user behavior and right. customer behavior and customer mm-hmm. benefit. Um, us, as a consumer, we think that they get the, the, the benefit that they don't have to spend money for transportation. They don't have to mm-hmm. spend, uh, mm-hmm. they don't invest in time, the travel time. It takes mm-hmm. an average of what? Two hours to get to and from uh, a consultation. In mm-hmm. Medify, it's about the average 15 minutes. Uh, mm, to conclude yeah, the, uh, the consultation, so those those things, um, that those are tangible benefits that you have mm. to um, put against um, psychological behavior yeah. mm, of okay. users, diba? So that's mm-hmm. true. People that want uh, people that want uh, uh, how do you call this face to face because mm-hmm. they feel better. It's a comfort mm-hmm. zone. So, yeah. so you, you know, go, you're up against uh, up against uh, consumer behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But um, again, we 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 need to uh, remember, um, just like the Black Swan uh, uh, cost Medify to suddenly become uh, uh, hugely uh, successful. Mm-hmm. Um, that we hope. That we that, that they, they experience the same thing. They this epiphany that right. uh, why am I going to go to my car or book an appointment Mm-mm. when I can actually do it on online? Right. And that's what we're we're really that's fighting true. for. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Like us, we're we're considering like home homeschooling, and it was because of the pandemic. So it opened up that kind of behavior you now for this kind of of audience of yours na parang, oh nga, bakit, why should I go if dito lang naman nararamdaman ko and I feel safer just to stay here at home. It's and logical, at... right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I love it's it. super logical. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, consumers don't necessarily follow logic when they yeah. do That's buying, true. buying behavior. <laughs> That's true. So there's a lot of emotion connected mm-hmm. to uh, that. No? So maybe we have to figure out a way to, to, 
Oh, oh. Yeah. One thing that's always uh, that's that I found interesting in this field, Jay, is like, parang it touches on medical tourism in a way, no? Of course, like surgeries, as you said, hindi naman pwede gawin yon through teleconsult. But um, like, are is is the market of Medify uh, just the Philippines, or have you started expanding to other markets, or nag parang nag nag seep into na other markets na siya? Kasi syempre, it did, some, it did, yeah, okay. actually. Okay, so yeah. Uh, pre-pandemic, the idea was, which was always there, um, um, the, the Filipino migrants Mm-mm. would be able to consult with the, with the familiar face, of the right. bank, culture, doctor, Mm-mm. et cetera. That was always there. Then we also imagined that, uh, that uh, 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 medical tourism aspect where they would consult first with the Mm-mm. with the doctor here in the Philippines before they get on a plane to exactly yeah, right. that, that type of thing so yun yung mga ano yun yung mga imagined and assumed as a mm-hmm. businessman as a yeah. um, but in the pandemic we saw um, um, suddenly it just happened um, mm-hmm. that migrant that migrant uh, consultation just happened forget medical tourism because mm-hmm. travel travel restrictions were in place so yeah. right. wala na yan. But the medical tourism is, is has yet to to recover but um, the migrant uh, workers they mm-hmm. started uh, getting on the platform and consulting with us nice. um, organically so now i think we're about, we have about 11 to 12% uh, coming oh, from wow. abroad coming oh, in. Oh. Medyo malaki. Mm-hmm. Um, and these are from the typical places, Italy, Europe, United States, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Japan. The funny thing is there was a lot for a while. There was a lot from Vietnam. There was a lot from, from Interesting. Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so we've seen, we, we saw that behavior. But one of the, the, the anecdotal uh, or anecdotes that we, mm-hmm. we have for this type of use case are the doctors. We had doctors that got stuck abroad. Oh, during the nice. Okay, interesting. Oh, and man. they continued their practice, let's say from Japan mm-hmm. or Canada, with their Filipino patients. So, That's sila true. naman yung remote. Yeah. Um, yun, yun yung ano, those, uh, those, ha- those things happen. And, uh, and um, it, it was, uh, it was uh, um, such a good, uh, well, you know, I mean, the uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yes. way of discovering <laughs> difficult consumer behavior. But um, one other thing that we also experience is that, and it's because of how we design Medify, no? it's a platform, mm-hmm. it's on demand, it's like an Uber for doctors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we could, we actually found doctors from other parts of the country uh-huh. mm-hmm. consulting for patients in another part of the country. In another province, mm. in Manila, for example, Dr. Mm-hmm. Davao consulting uh, Manila patient and uh, vice versa. No? So suddenly, geographical barriers didn't matter anymore. You're talking nice. to a, you're talking to a mm-hmm. uh, Filipino. Sometimes you're talking mm-hmm. your local dialect if you're from, mm-hmm. uh, if you're uh, Ilongo or Visaya or something like that. It, it's mm-hmm. it's pretty it's pretty cool actually when you think mm-hmm. about it. Oh, oh, that's interesting, Jay. Now that you brought up the the aspect of it being a platform. And one of the challenges always with the mm-hmm. platform is that there are two sides that you have to grow ah. simultaneously, right? Mm-hmm. So what was your Obviously, approach yeah. to that? How did you... Because that's always like the most costly thing about start? platform yeah. ideas, sure. no? So how did sure. Medify sort of make that happen? Well, um, there's a formula, naman. you and I know. Mm. Uh, for a two-sided marketplace, you always focus on the supply side. Mm. Right? Uh, you right. take care of the supply side. That's the, that's the rule of thumb. And that's exactly what we need. You have to nurture your uh, doctors on Medify and all that. Mm-hmm. That's why it was tough for us in the early days mm-hmm. because doctors yeah. were really uh, they had a different mindset. Refused to get on mm-hmm. the yeah, they didn't want to do telehealth. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but now that they they've bought into the idea, then you mm-hmm. start making sure that you're taking taking care of them. Um, right uh, and um, and uh, nurturing that side of the marketplace mm-hmm. um, um, on the other side it's mass market right okay? mm. um, it's mass market and that's a different story and it's yeah. really tough because we're trying to penetrate uh, first we don't have the war chest of a marketing True. project mm-hmm. okay so but uh, we have the potential 
digital and the market is big enough to actually hit millions of, of users. Right. We're yeah. actually about 47,000 now. That's a, that's 47 a lot. plus mm. thousand. It's a lot and it actually grew because of the pandemic mm -hmm. organically. So, mm -hmm. so uh, that is the challenge that we're, we're facing now. It's really trying to reach more people. Mm -hmm. Apparently, not very many people know about uh, telehealth. Uh, it, mm. yeah, despite what we we think, no, uh -oh. um, a lot of people are still have, have yet to to go on board and and, and actually right. do. Uh -oh. it. So there's so much upside. There's so much upside. Oh, to eh. So so question, Jay. Because like for example, like I I think how most families or people do it is you have your primary care doctor sort mm -hmm. of like uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, like let's say like a pedia and then you know we get referrals from them hey kailangan ko ng neuro can you mm -hmm. can you tell uh -huh. can you refer uh -huh. parang ganun yung so, ano ngayon yeah. eh right. is, med if, is there a way for me to look for a doctor on my own on uh on medify because like i think one of the things that's hard and something that's not that not a lot of people do is getting second opinions Kasi right. parang nahihiya sila dun sa nag-refer, parang gano'n. Mm -hmm. And refer ni ganyan, I'm sure tama uh -huh. to. Um, it does, does, you know, is, is that something that, that um, you know, I can do on Medify? Yes, yes. Uh, Medify actually uh, uh, has a directory of doctors. Nice, okay. And uh, we have two modes. One is mm -hmm. consult now. One is direct consult. Consult now mm -hmm. is like an Uber experience. Mm -hmm. um, you click consult now and then uh, you put in your 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 complaint and then doctors see it in their dashboard that there's a there's a patient that uh, parang, you know, like a mm -hmm. taxi. There's a patient that needs his help and all that. Got it. Is that my enough? Is that within my wheelhouse? Okay, I'll take it. Okay. Mm. The second mode is the direct consult mm -hmm. uh, uh, approach where you can actually pick from a roster of doctors. And we have about 3,000 plus mm -hmm. on the platform. You have a you pick from the roster of doctors. You can search by name, yeah, or mm -hmm. you can search by specialty. So if mm -hmm. you know who to search for, you can. Uh -uh. If you know what to search for, you can also. Uh -uh. So then then it comes out. Um, I see. And the nice thing about it is we actually put in more tabs for 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 easy easy access to the doctors. Now we have the most active doctors in the mm -hmm. tab. There's there there's. And there's a tab for the, the ones that were the uh, online, uh, uh, recently online. Right. Yeah. And every, there's another for everything nice. else. So, I see. Um, yes, you can. Short answer. Yes, you can. You search for a specialty. You search for, uh, for, um, for a name. And uh, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, like the, 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 the scenario that you mentioned, that's, that's very middle class. Like a family <laughs> doctor. Right. Or, uh, yeah. right? But we we now know that there are a lot of uh, Filipinos that don't have that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you may be surprised to know that the statistic is that two thirds mm -hmm. of Filipinos will never get to see a doctor in their entire lifetime. Oh really? So they have oh, to wow. contact. So that whole mm -hmm. yeah. that idea that you have a family doctor and all right. that's, not, that's, oh, not, that's not the general thing. Oh. Yeah. So they're really the ones that are using Medify. They really are looking for their first time doctor wow. or somebody and um mm -hmm. there's no doctor real doctor in loyalty that's mm -hmm. true uh, oh, oh. so you 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 go from one to another and, and since the prices are are published on not medify mm -hmm. you can it becomes uh yeah. some people choose depending on their price range so, right nice anyway, okay that's wow the, oh, oh. And, and i think so, what's much, interesting... so much discovery Oh yeah, my! Ang ganda nang kasi I think also what's interesting is that I think there are some people with privacy concerns. I don't want to go to this yes. doctor na my friend also goes to, you know. So at least with this, you can now look for okay, is there someone that yes. probably lives somewhere else? I yeah, <laughs> you can, you can. But although I, I think they're pretty safe because the doctors are pretty meticulous in terms of uh, with regards oh, to confidentiality and all that. Privacy. Uh -oh. But uh, yeah. but uh, you're right. I mean, they can really choose. They can mm -hmm. choose the type of doctor. Uh, they can choose from which hospital, where which hospital this doctor is affiliated. If the doctor puts it in his bio, mm -hmm. then you can choose. You can search through that. Nice. Okay. From a doctor's point of view, naman, Jay, and I guess this is like one of the last few mm -hmm. questions. Because they're, they're sure. always super concerned about HIPAA and you know, uh -huh. privacy issues privacy. and all of that. Right. How does Medify address that concern of theirs? Um, we are very uh, uh, compliant with HIPAA. 
ever mm-hmm. since from day one. We mm-hmm. really built ourselves to to make sure that uh, that uh, that's a framework that we work mm-hmm. with. only because we really we were really planning to launch in the states as well. Right. Oh, oh. Yeah. So that dictated how we would treat uh, uh, mm-hmm. medical information, um, and HIPAA is really a framework of uh, behavior mm-hmm. for the for the different uh, stakeholders within the the ecosystem. The mm-hmm. billing, the doctor, the nurse, lahat. Mm-hmm. so it's really costly information that you're worried about, mm-hmm. and uh, there are different rules uh, within mm-hmm. those stages. And we have uh, we have uh, safeguards in place. And we are uh, part of this uh, uh, group called Ac- under Accountable HQ, which mm-hmm. is uh, which is an auditing third-party auditing uh, oh, uh, interesting. company that mm-hmm. makes sure that your 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 practices are within HIPAA. So oh, oh, that's wow. it. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's nice. uh, yeah. Then uh, on the Philippine side. Benjo, it's a little looser because all we have is the National Privacy Commission and the yeah. mm-hmm. Privacy Act. Mm-hmm. So we 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 are also uh, compliant. compliant. Yeah. Oh, that's um, good. That. Okay, Jay. For our last question, like for the business owners out there, no, like having seen your journey or having heard now of your journey, like what are your tips for them, Naman? Um, typical. Um, a lot of horror stories about uh, imagining what your market wants. <laughs> and building and uh, you, you discover that's not ex- that's they don't use features. We yeah. built version one as an elaborate uh, telehealth app for a patient with medical records, mm-hmm. uh, a imaging uh, a viewer. Wow! A wow! Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, the doctors, the doctors go like, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need uh, <laughs> to know your medical history, really. I mean, oh. what's important for the they they will ask that anyway in the course of the consultation. Um, what's very important is what 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 is the history in the past 24, 48 hours for, oh, a, for yeah. a patient? No. Oh. It's not uh, never mind the diabetic. They will come out of my oh, oh yeah. So so, so uh, that whole elaborate infrastructure that you built to have medical the patient uh, <laughs> building medical records Reference. and all that it's useless <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, we we pivoted make made sure that we deliver the value Mm-mm. very mm-hmm. quickly if i do that one that, that one thing you're really good at and do it well yeah so mm-hmm. uh, so uh, clicks to a consultation is what you, what you what you focus right. on make sure that you reach the doctor as fast as possible mm-hmm. so th- those are the things that you really want to focus on and it's the same with any other product um mm. any, any other service and mm-hmm. uh, yeah it, it, it's it's uh, those are those are rules that we all know mm-hmm. us for for uh, us uh, that's uh startup founders no mm-hmm. but um sometimes we get lost in it in our yeah. idea that's true. Right. So even if you know about it, um, you really mm-hmm. have to be very diligent in, in making sure that you check yourself. Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, and how do you how do you do that? You, you ask other people about your idea. They tell them, tell them to shoot it down for you. Oh, so, oh. Mm-hmm. that's true. That's so... As a wise man once said, no name Mike Tyson. <laughs> Everyone has a plan. Huh? Until you get punched in the face. So yeah, you always will get punched in the face, especially <laughs> if you're a boxer. Right? Yeah. So <laughs> expect it to happen. So yeah. that's the that's yeah. key. All that's right. Cool. Thank you, Jay. Um, can you uh, would you want to invite the viewers to like download the app? Where can they find it? Sure. Um, we're available to the App Store and Google Play Store as uh, mm-hmm. for Medify for patients. That's for the patients. And doctors can uh, sign up. Uh, by going to uh, medify.com. All right. Thank awesome. you so much, Jay. Hope to have My you pleasure. again here soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, anytime, anytime. Invite me anytime. Awesome. All right. Nice talking to you, Jay. Bye-bye. Likewise, thanks. And that was Jay Fajardo of Medify. So, you know, a lot of good learnings there. Very good discussion. Very specific to Medify, know, which is yeah. what we always want to have no the discussions we want to have with the people we interview as much as possible we try to make it meaty we try to make it really practical we try to 
avoid all of the beauty pageant answers <laughs> no so thank you to jay also because jay really answered yeah. to the point any learnings niya during the pandemic any yung mga interesting learnings when they started and you know and actually the insights, no? yeah no and these are like trade secrets when you think about it so it's, it's it's an honor that he shared that with all of us yeah so if you are a business owner or if you found this video very interesting no so please click that like button share subscribe and click on that notification bell for more videos like this again this is team arvo thank you so much for watching